Okay, let's take the techniques that we've learned with the left and right hand technique as far as slide. And let's look at a very real exercise that will help develop this technique and will help you to realize what it is that you may or may not be doing wrong. Okay, so using the concepts uh, from one and two, from the, the uh, left and right hand techniques for slide, what we're going to do, the first exercise that we're going to do, is play the top portion of the A pentatonic scale. So, uh, without our slide here, it will be on the third fret, it'll be frets uh, 5, 7. On the second string, it'll be 5, 8. And on first string, 5, 8. Okay, so we're going to be using our slide. And what I want you to do is put the slide over the fifth fret, and you're going to pick that using the same techniques with the, with the uh, finger, the muted finger behind the slide. Your slide's going to be directly over the fret, so I'm just kind of reminding you about some of the techniques here. And your right hand will, or your picking hand, will pick the third string, just like so. Okay, now, if you're holding it too loosely, you're going to get that kind of sound. If you're holding it too tight, you may not hear, I mean, you hear a little bit of buzz there, but you may not hear it until you move the slide, where you can actually hear the frets moving underneath the slide. We don't want that sound. So let that slide just lay on the strings. You can press into it just a teeny tiny bit, but not too, too hard, because if so, then you're going to hear those frets. We just want this nice, smooth sound. Okay, so for the first part of this, you're going to pick the fifth fret and you're going to slide up to the seventh fret. Just like that. Remember to keep your slide straight up and down with the fret. And when you do slide up, make sure you end up directly over the seventh fret. Remember the fret wire, not this area right here that we're used to, that space. It needs to be directly over that fret wire. And you can do this slow. If you start hearing this sound, then your muting finger is not doing its job. You've got to get it right behind there. Trust me, I've taught and seen a lot of people try to play slide before, and um, not that I'm some ferocious slide player, but uh, teaching beginning slide, you'll just see it all the time. Folks will keep their finger up here, and they're trying to get a good sound, and this is what's happening when that muting finger is not behind the slide doing the mute that it needs to. Okay, so you're going to slide from five to seven. Then, now, the next part of this is you're going to play the fifth fret of the second string. Okay, and when you're sliding, as you're getting to higher notes here, it's totally all right, in fact, encouraged to have your slide not be all over the other strings because you're going to get a little bit of that draggy sound when it's just not necessary. If you're up here on these higher notes, there's no need to have the slide all over the strings making all sorts of noise, okay? So, as we're playing this fifth fret of the second string, that slide can be further down this way on the fretboard, okay? That's the note that we're going for. So, what I want you to do is pick the fifth fret and slide up to the 8th fret. Make sure that your muting, muted finger is right behind that slide. It needs to be as if it's part of that slide. It's always there. Make sure it's always muting. And it's a feel thing. You'll feel it 
Get a little buzz there. You'll, you'll feel it right behind it. Okay? All right. Now, when you're playing the first string, because we're moving this down, what happens is all the weight ends up going on that first string then. So it's okay if you use that second or third string to take a little bit of the weight of the slide. The other thing you don't want to do is you don't want to, you don't want to lean this so much where all the weight is on that first string because then even the slightest amount of pressure is going to get that sound of the slide hitting the frets. Obviously not a, a pretty sound, not what we're going for. Okay. So, when you're playing the first string, make sure that you've got that slide on more than just that first string. If not, be, you're going to have to be super light. Okay. So here we are, first, uh, first fret, or I mean, first string at the fifth fret, and you're going to slide up to the eighth fret. Now this one is going to be a lot trickier because you have a lot more weight on that first string and there's going to be more of a tendency to bear down on it. Okay, so this is where you're building your technique is you're learning. You're going to do this over and over again. You're going to hear buzzes. You're going to hear, you're going to do the intonation wrong. You're going to forget the mute. You're going to do all sorts of stuff. But what happens is with repetition, you're going to do it over and over again. You're going to go, ah, that's right. You've got to mute. Oh, that's right. I can't press down so hard. And enough times of your brain hearing that you're going to be holding just the right technique you're going to be holding it just light enough okay all right so once you get that then you're going to go back and do something like this so five seven five eight five eight Sounds a little bit boring right now. We don't, we don't have a lot of slide. We have zero slide happening. And we're not giving it a lot of um, a feel, if you will, but that's okay. Remember at the beginning of the course, we weren't using a lot of feel. We were doing a lot of technique. And I specifically wanted you to just concentrate on technique and not worry about notes or theory or anything like that because these are core techniques that your brain, that your hand, that everything your soul has to uh, has to digest has to get that before you can start getting really fancy pants remember we mentioned um, I've mentioned to you before about a uh, newborn you know they have to learn these really basic words first you know and then in, into being a toddler before you can get your PhD and start talking very fancy so learn this technique don't be afraid of doing it very slowly very um, focused and with the right technique and before you know it this will start happening smoother for you you'll have less mistakes all right let's keep going